from uh, so Sony PlayStation. It was received so poorly, they're already closing the servers after two weeks. Uh. They spent $200 million on the game. Okay, uh, the best joke I've seen about the ga- the characters of the game is the characters are so un- un- unpleasant to look at, Rule 34 doesn't apply to them. Mm, that's so if you know what that is. <laughs> yeah. yeah, your game, is, your characters are so unpleasant looking, people won't make porn of it. Oh. Ouch. Yes, that's the joke about the characters. They just look that bad. Look up Concord. If you look up Concord and look at the characters, you go, Whoa. they just look terrible. And the thing is, the, the developers are getting really mad at everyone, going, dude, your characters look terrible. And it's a gener- basically it's a generic looking um, Overwatch game. That costs forty dollars. When you oh. play Overwatch for free, so that's another strike against them. You're trying to do the losers trigger thing against people who are doing it better and for cheaper. And they spent eight years making that game just for it to be online yeah. for two weeks. Yeah, it's, yeah, that is a massive loss on their end. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I was entertained for about an hour reading about it earlier today. Oh yeah, it, it's just it's just a to me it just shows the fact that you have people making games by committee. It's kind of like the Crow movie. No one involved in that movie ever probably watched the original. Mm. Oh, like the people in charge of the Borderlands movie. <laughs> yes. Mm. Here's the thing: the Crow is so bad, Borderlands actually made more money than it. Which is funny because initially I saw an article that said the initi- the opposite, saying that Crow was still doing better than Borderlands movie. Oh no, no, it's no initially, um, initially. Yeah, but after a while, pe- yeah, it's like yeah, it was. I mean, hell, if you think about it, this year, the only movie that's truly made a massive amount of money is Deadpool. All right, uh, we're gonna start forming parties here in a sec. Are you there, Terry? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, did you, did you see what I wrote in council? Uh, yeah, I got it. Uh, it looks like two parties of six, or we can do like uh, eight and four. We can start doing that and then uh, see what we have by the end of grouping. <laughs> yeah, I mean, looking at what Hasbro has done to itself, too, is impressive right now, too. Hey, they cause them their exodus from um, D&D Online. Just know I can flex now between range and two different close range DPS and tank. <laughs> <sighs> no healing job yet. Up there. Okay. I've got six. <laughs> Alright, let me just grab everyone else. Let's see, one, two, three, four. I might have. Yep, there I go. Uh, let's say Coco, Zico is on another party. In mine, yeah. Okay. Yes. Did you get Aegon? Yep. I did. Okay. I'm at. Do you got Kazwin? Oh, you are at eight. Yeah. Okay. Um, Okay. Did you get Kazwin? No. Okay, I got him. <clears throat> he just, uh, he was lingering there for a second, and then he, like, ran out, so I didn't know if he was, like, gotten or just followed everybody. <laughs> yeah, I got Coco Zico. Yeah. And you got Troa? Yep. Okay. How many does that put you at? Uh, I'm at seven. Well, that's pretty good. Two, two... Almost full parties. Yep. We have anybody here who hasn't done the raids before? No, I think we're all good on that part. I have not done three or four. That's it. Okay. Oh. Anybody that hasn't done these with us before? Should I still raise my hand? (laughs) I had a feeling. (laughs) All good. (laughs) We just want to make sure that uh, we know who's new. So, um, 
basically uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do one run of each one and then uh, we'll take like a couple minutes in between and let uh, folks grab uh, any gear that they might want to grab uh, if you get a drop or something uh, or you know grab a drink use a restroom etc and then uh, we'll be queuing you know one at a time in that form in that form a couple minutes in between and uh, we'll ready check in between just to make sure that everybody's present and then we'll go on to the next one one two three four it usually takes about roughly an hour unless there's like any severe like disconnects or something like that um, and uh, in my party, I'll be doing call outs. <clears throat> Sup, guys? Anyone Sup. in Terry's party willing to do call outs? I can do, I can do call outs. I, I would like to prefer somebody else to do them tonight. Don't take speak. this tip. Hmm? If anyone wants to. I remember something here. <laughs> Is there anyone I could trouble for some melding right quick? Uh, I think I could do it. Yeah, I got a hundred in blacksmithing. Alright, uh, that was which player? Grim. That was Grim. Grim? Yeah. Uh, let's see. A Dark Knight that's right here with purple there you are. hair. Yes. I'd offer, Thank you very my much. Uh, crafters are all like 99, 98, so they're almost there. <laughs> yeah, I got a... Uh, I, yeah, hit 100, so I should hit blacksmithing, so that should be enough to do it. Mm, there's a 100% chance of success. I call yep. that good enough. Okay, you got the, uh, the, uh, okay. Yeah. All righty. Yeah, what a minute. Got to get me some dragoon gear. <laughs> really wish this chair wasn't so noisy. <laughs> I got rid of a squeaky chair for a leather chair that sounds like farting weird when I move on. Yeah, it's like leather, like scooting on leather, and it just sounds like farting. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> mm. Squeaky. Exactly. That's a one squeaky chair there. That's what they all say. Oh, there's Major. With the with the soundboard. All right, so. I was mean though, Rico. On what? No, I'm not farting on my chair. My chair farts itself. <laughs> well, no, it's worse, with, it's worse with he farts and his chair farts, so it probably doubles the smell. Oh, don't don't be ashamed of <laughs> nothing like a bubble going up the leather. <laughs> oh, be dear. proud of it. Brings you back to childhood being in the bathtub, doesn't it? I don't know, man. I just had a bunch of Mexican food, so we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we can just call you Stinky Pete from now on. Oh my god. <laughs> Every time he moves in that seat, it's going to come out like a mariachi band. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't know if I've ever had it sound like that. But, uh, <laughs> I, I would say it's time to go to the doctor if you have, a, have that coming out of your ass. Wow. That sounds like a medical condition. <laughs> Yeah. Or you, actually, you could take that to uh, America's Got Talent. <laughs> that was no. first time in <laughs> All right. Uh, let's make sure we're repaired. Ready check in my group. Both groups full? Yeah, we're full. All right. All right. You got your last one. Welcome like, to uh, hang around in case space opens. Rekha, you got your last one. Thank filled. you, uh, Grimsong. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, we are full. 100%. Yeah, no problem. Okay. That's yeah. nearly a full melt for me. It works, then. Ronin was our eighth. <clears throat> All right, uh, we're ready to go in our group. Uh, my group, head down to Event 1 VC, and everybody, uh, good luck tonight. Have fun. Uh, good luck, other team. Yep. Yeah. All righty. I'm going to go ahead and uh, queue up here. Get going. Uh, are we going single tank? Oh shoot! Glad you said oh. something. <laughs> Let's I see. I picked up two. Did somebody change? I guess not. Oh well, maybe that was me at first. And I switched to healer because we only had three healers in the yard. If you want, I can switch to a tank. Tank if you need to. You want How many? Off, you want to off tank and quack and main? Or vice yeah, I can off. Okay. If you don't mind, Johnny. 
Right. Right. Get this show on the road. All right, guys, here we go. Let's beat this kitty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, eat some tea. Right. Eat some Follow food. The uh, countdown when you are ready. And yes, thank you, Johnny. If you got food, a uh, good time to use it. Remind him. <clears throat> I'm going to have to grab some after this because I used my last one already. <laughs> I just ran out like yesterday during Mon Mon. Forgot to, <laughs> forgot to replenish. <laughs> I just finished leveling my dragoon yesterday too. <laughs> raid wide incoming in a moment. Starting off with the raid wide. There it is. Okay, everybody to the right of the boss. Get ready to move left. Move left. Left of boss, ready to move right. Move right. <clears throat> Easy peasy. All right, in between the intercardinal directions, get ready to move. Move. Looks like I got clipped um, for some reason. Oh, well, yep, there's Tank Buster and then Stack. Thanks for moving that in. Make sure we're on the one that doesn't get hit twice. Looks like I think this one. Yeah, this one for sure. Nice. Metam's voiced by the same guy that did Vothry, right? Uh, depends on which language you're using. English. I wouldn't know. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, point that towards a non-broken panel. Non-broken. There you go. Yep. Non-broken. Yep. stuff all right knockback prevention or point towards a corner that doesn't throw you off oh my god barely <laughs> sorry about that Okay, I'll look for the safe corner. Assuming it's going to be this one. Deep in that corner. <clears throat> Spread them. Don't cover each other. Tank Buster on Qua. Yeah. All right, we want to be to the right of the arrow and move. That one's not too bad. Okay, so we want to be cardinal directions of the arrow. 
So down, left, right, and then get ready to move. 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 move, move. <clears throat> and raid wide. Let's look for that one. There's a couple of them, but I think this one's safe. Point that towards the non-broken. Everybody else in the stack. Tanks in front of the stack. It's going to repeat several times. Yep. Whee! This one's me. Everybody in that stack. Yep, good job. Everybody in the stack again. Okay. Knock back prevention or knock into a corner that doesn't knock you off. <laughs> Watch out. Tank buster on claw. Panels restored. Okay, safe corner. I'm gonna go up here. I believe northwest is safe. So far, so good. Yep, looks like. Yeah, get deep into the corner. We're gonna go ahead and hold on to that LB for a little bit here, just in case. Yep, stay west of boss, move move east, move east. Nice. Everybody stack up. Shields up. Nice. Little shields, but they were good. <laughs> does next. Leaping, so we're going to be on the right of the arrow. The side of arrow. Over here, over here, over here. Left. Yep, spread. Careful not to cover each other. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Inter cards, or cards of the arrow. We can get ready to move in inter cards. Move now. And spread. Heal up and stack. Raid wide. Alright, let's just wait for her to move. Any second now. There we go. Let's see what her mechanic is. Mouser. Alright, let's make sure we're on a safe platform. And LB3 DPS when ready. Nice and smooth. Oh. See, she got Kazman right at the last second there. <laughs> Alright, don't forget it's one piece of loot per fight per week. So be careful with your rolls. <clears throat> Try to remember which ones I need this week. 
Uh, what do I get in my inventory? Oh, yeah. Congrats on loot. Let us know if you need a second or want to go grab some gear. We'll be ready checking here in just a couple minutes. That was super smooth. Good job, guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yard's looking amazing, Reka. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Got to put it back to our traditional look, but fixed up a couple pieces. Top floor inside the hall will be back to normal later after raids. All right, I'm gonna just ready check and see who is all set. If you need a minute or something, let us know. All right, we're good to go. It's time for Honey Bee Live. <laughs> Into the honey hive we go. I'm gonna be real. I don't like Southern Bells no more. I dated one. She took everything I had. <laughs> I can't stand him now. I love the voice. Don't get me wrong. I just can't do no Southern Bells no more. Oh, yeah. I think I did hear somebody say she had an accent in English. Yep. It's so hard for me to imagine. It is like a stereotypical Southern Bell voice. Oh, my yeah, gosh. The Southern Bell voice. Accent, yep. <laughs> All right, uh, go ahead and count down when ready. Oh, darn, I forgot to grab food. But I know it's definitely sound kawaii in Japanese. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It's got a very cute voice in Japanese. All right, there's that raid wide that all raids start with these days. <laughs> Every single one of them. All right, get inside boss circle. This is going to follow with a line AOE through the center. So go ahead and get to the sides. All right, and that is two tank busters. Don't forget, those are line, like line tank busters, big lines that come out, so you want to be in the way of that. Side, 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 side of the boss. Plenty of room on the sides. That's a wide line, so you're going to get that plenty of room. Nearly outside of melee range. Yep. Alright, going into heart phases here. Unlike Zelda, we don't want to have these hearts filled. <laughs> Spread out, <laughs> don't cover each other. Careful, she'll make you hers. One yep. person in each meteor. Just one, we got one over there, yep. Good job. Awesome. Alright, here comes the heart dodging. Get out of the center, and get ready to dodge. Dodge, dodge, revolution. Remember, DPS is cool, but dodging is cooler. Make sure that we don't get hit. At least I can throw knives at range. I can throw my axe at range. <laughs> yep, get behind boss, and watch out for remaining hearts. Behind boss. Good job, guys. Our dodging skills have uh, gotten better. Uh, most Piccolo. <laughs> yep, this is an in and out, so get in. Get ready to run out. And run out. 
Behind boss. Behind boss. You don't want to be in front of her. Good job. Everybody's doing good. Yeah, finale. It's a raid wide. <laughs> raid wide? What raid wide? Alright, tank busters. Don't be in front of the tanks. Tingles. All right, her spear is poison tipped. Means we want to get inside the circle and give those orange balls a bit of a, a bit of room to blow up. Give them some room, and then get ready to spread. Spread now. Careful, careful! Don't cover each other. Perfect. You can see that doesn't scare us anymore. <laughs> okay, poison tipping again. This time it's a line. Get out of the center and give the orange balls room to blow up. If you get the stack marker, please move it to the center. Once those go off. Awesome. Thank you so much. so much less chaotic when uh, we can all stack in the center like that. <laughs> Alright, here comes the little bees. Let's see what direction they show up. Okay, they're going to be moving clockwise. Don't forget those are kind of wide lines, so just give them some room and keep moving clockwise. Yep, don't be in the way. <laughs> Easy peasy. Yeah, don't be in the way. Yep. <laughs> All right, everybody's doing fantastic. This time it's diagonal quadrants. And then get out to the sides. Yeah, that's a little tricky since she does it so quick right after. Okay, Honeybee Live, we're going back into heart phases, except for this time it's gonna be light party stacks. It's going to be four, to four a piece together. Okay, four in each. Good job, guys. Followed by meteors. One person in each meteor. And a couple more here showing up. Okay, let's see. Out of center. And it's going to be dodging time. Dodge, dodge, revolution. Keep on moving, keep on dodging. Focus in on dodging. Oh my. Oh, oh, oh. Ow, ow. Almost. To be one. Get behind boss and watch out for remaining hearts. <clears throat> yep. I take busters. Once again with the poisoned. Oh no, she didn't do the poison. Oh, she did do the poison, but she's got the little bees out. Yep. So just do your best. Give those arrows kind of a wide range to dodge. Careful not to run into another one while dodging another one. I've got Kazwin. And looks like uh, Claw's getting up on the sides. Side, side, sides. Plenty of room on the sides. Yep. Give those room to blow up. Yep. And stack to the middle. Stack to the middle. Thank you. Yep. 
One more poison tip. Diagonal quadrants. Don't forget she's gonna do a move right after that. Get into the boss center. Good. And there should be a dodge the orange balls, give them room to blow up, and then spread. Don't cover anyone. Nice, nice. Let's go ahead and hold on to that LB for just a moment. Make sure nothing goes too haywire. Everybody's doing great. Tank busters. You never know with this fight. <laughs> yet are still in this we've got another honey bee live phase coming up once again starting with lights light party stacks so it's gonna be four in each I'm kind of pre grouped together unless the person in ours also has the stack <laughs> oh my god okay well, that was fine <laughs> one person in each meteor There's a couple new ones. Good job. Okay, we want to get out and uh, did not call for LB. Although now would have been. Sorry, Miss Press. That's all right. She's pretty much dead at this point. Um. Yeah, she's gone. We can finish her while our hearts are going out. Nice. Okay. Perfect. All right, guys. Let's see. Uh, don't forget your. Uh, be careful with your rolls. One piece of loot per fight per week. Let's see here. Yep. I didn't roll on that one. Oh, beat me for the knife the head, please. Do I need hands? No, I don't. Yep, and then uh, you said you hadn't done three yet, Coco? I have not. Okay, yeah, go ahead and unlock and uh, take your time, watch your cutscenes if you want. And, well, uh, I have three unlocked, I just haven't oh, run have it yet. Unlocked. Okay, perfect. Alright. And we will go into that one next here. Let me see. Finishing rolls. Yeah, I've been getting the pants, but I don't need pants. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> okay, anybody need to run to uh, Solution 9 or need a second? Let us know. That is a bit of a doozy sometimes, but I think we've gotten pretty good at it. Main thing is the guy's going to do a, uh, a lariat, so he's going to rush through the center of the arena, but the left or right side is going to be super unsafe. Basically, what he does is he shows us all his mechanics, and then he spends the second half of the fight from about 60-something hmm, percent or so all the way to zero. He's going to be doing like combinations of what he shows you in the beginning. Makes sense. So, yeah. And uh, when he does this, like, that center rush lariat thing he'll do it twice so will be uh i'll be saying something like like watch what side's safe and it'll be like left side safe and they'll either say right or stay and because uh, they'll do it a second time so you have to basically turn your camera all the way around to see him because he he'll jump behind us i see it might take me a try or two but i should get it down yeah well as so yeah, long as i'm fine. listening to call outs yeah, it is fun. It is a fun fight, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and ray check. We're gonna show him that boxing's actually rigged. The kingpin was right. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. 
Thankfully, he does a um, a series of raid wide AOEs where he's like pounding the ground, and uh, I always like look at that as kind of like a recovery phase because it's so easy to heal through, and just kind of gives everybody a breather. He does it a lot, so at least there's some reassurance that you get kind of a breather mid fight <laughs> several times. Mm -hmm. um, the one of the trickiest ones is when he does his like green breath. Which you got to get behind him for that, and he only does it like maybe twice in the fight, so it's kind of like everything else he does a hundred times. So that's like one of the only tricky ones. He does it once early okay, on, like once part? later. Yeah, yeah, I'll call it out too, so it should be fine. And uh, oh my god, I just stood around, and didn't grab food again that time. <laughs> <laughs> All good, but food check if you have it. Do you think Alexander could sue for copyright infringement? <laughs> Alexander? Yeah. Which Alexander? Wait, no, they don't have a brute bomber. They just have a brute justice. Oh. Maybe they could recruit him. <laughs> oh, I know what you're saying. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Imagine him, like, using uh, brute justice as, like, a mecha suit or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, countdown when ready. Although I would absolutely love a plotline where you beat this guy up, and now it reveal, and now it becomes a daredevil plotline. <laughs> His son ends up becoming the daredevil s guy. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, you get oh, you hire some moblins to build their own group justice. <laughs> Starting off uh, with a raid wide. Some beautiful shields up. Looks great. Yeah, it's his little ground pound thing he does. Okay. All right, that's a tank share stack. Good job, guys. All right, this is what the Lariat looks like. Left side is safe. Left of boss is safe. I give it a little bit of room, though. He's going to do that <laughs> twice later. See how he went all the way to the back of the arena? He'll go past the lava to the ropes over there and do it. He'll do it a second time. Here we go. Right side is safe. Right side is safe. <clears throat> awesome. Okay, then get behind, get behind. That's his little uh, murderous mist. Perfect. Okay, barbarous barrage. Okay, this is where we're going to want to be in the meteors. You can use knockback prevention, or you can point to an opposite corner so you don't get thrown into the lava. Perfect. And this is a conal rotating counterclockwise. You want to be right of the cone, get ready to move left, and keep going. Later, he's going to combine this with an in and out circle as well. Fuses of Fury. This is, you're going to want to be near a long fuse. Stand at the long fuse and move into where the short ones go off. Move now into where the short ones went off. Perfect, guys. Awesome. Alright, and left of boss is safe. Don't worry, he's not going to do it twice until uh, the phase shifts. Until he drinks his favorite drink. Yeah, he pulls out a Mountain Dew. Fuses of Fury, same thing again with the long fuses. Get near a long fuse and stand right under it. Get ready to move into the small ones where they go off. And move now to where they went off. Awesome. He combines that with his Lariat as well. <laughs> Later. Okay, and here we go. So he's mad because he couldn't get the Mountain Dew mount. So me neither, bro. But I did get the King Pork suit today. Oh, very <laughs> nice. Very nice. All right, here comes his combinations. After he punches the ref. <laughs> nice. Alrighty, here we go. 
Double Lariat, starting with the right side first. Right side first. Be on the right side, get ready. Let's turn our cameras, see where he's at. We're going to be on the right side again. Right, right, right. Cross over to the right. Nice. Nobody got hit by that. That was awesome. Okay, stack up. Some heals and shields coming in. He's going to be doing brutal impact. That's his little ground poundy move. He's doing like a like a Donkey Kong smash there. That's what I call well, it. I... <laughs> Lariat. Right side of boss. Right side of boss. Turn your camera. See where he's getting ready to run. Let's see if we need to move. We need to stay. Hey. We need to stay. We need to stay. Perfect. Very good. Acing this fight. Would not believe how messy that was when it first came out. <laughs> huh. Yeah, okay. Final spin. Outside of the inner inner circle to the left of the cone. Inside. Keep moving. Move out. Get ready to move back in. Move back in now. Keep moving. Those go off three red circles at a time. He's doing a lariat. We want to be on the left side of the boss. Frag. Left side of boss. Oop. Mm. That's all right. Stay, stay, stay. Stay, stay, stay. We're good. You can always take one of those, but if you get hit by both, then it's bad. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And stack up. Good, good. <clears throat> Nobody's dead. Everybody's doing good. We got uh, Brutal Impacts coming in, so that's raid wise. Ooh. Okay, we're good. Alright, here comes fuses, but this time it's going to be combined. Long fuse. Look at the fuses on the right side. Move into where they go off, after they go off. Move in now. Right side, right side. And stay. That's one of the harder ones. We did really good on that, though. Okay, brutal impact. This is where he gives us a, that moment to heal up. When he does fuses combined with Alaria, you basically just kind of stay in the middle and then wait for him to raise his arm. Tank share stack. It's kind of scary looking, but it, it it definitely gives you more time than it looks like. Barrage. That's where we're going to stand in the meteors. And you're going to want to point yourself to... Let's see what he's going to combine it with. Fuses. So point yourself towards a long fuse. Or knockback prevention near a long fuse where you're safe. As long as you're safe. I did that wrong. Me too. You guys are... Oh, crap. Oh, my God, Troa. Hang in there. Behind boss. Behind boss. Oh. Oof. 30%. No res. Yep. It's a wipe. Alright, well, now you've seen all the mechanics, so... Pretty good for a first run. <laughs> Alright, countdown when ready. Yeah, I'll take him. I just need to get, get him right between the eyes with the pompadour. I was standing, like just is center enough in that thing that it pushed me back instead of across where I was aiming. So I died horribly and then Troa was like trying to get me back up but he got hit by the mist <laughs> and then we just all died. Alright, raid wide. Tank share stack. Alright, Lariat on the left side is safe. Left side. Left, left, left. You don't want to get over a little burner there, Troy. There we go. Good job. And Lariat again. Right side. Right of boss. Right of boss.
Okay, behind boss, behind boss. Smooth. Okay, here comes that pesky barrage. <laughs> Point to an opposite corner or use knockback prevention if you have it. There we go. That's how it's done. Okay, conal rotating to the left. So we're going to be doing counterclockwise. This is the easy one without the circle. There's our favorite fuses long fuse. You buy a long one, get ready to move into the short ones when they go off. And move in. Okay. And he's doing a lariat. Left side, left of boss, left of boss. Fuses again. <clears throat> Long fuse, followed by move into where the short ones go. Move in now. All right, he's drinking his soda. the ref. All right, here we go. Stay focused. Comes his combos. All right, Lariat, and it's going to be left side, left side, left side. Turning camera, and let's see where he's going to go this time. It's going to be crossover to the left, left side of boss, left side of boss. Yep, stack up. Alright, there's the raid wides. Pound in the ground, giving us a minute. Lariat. Left of boss, left of boss. Let's see where he goes. It's gonna be stay, stay, stay. Infernal spin, right of the cone, getting ready to rotate. Move in the circle, get ready, move out, move out. Get ready to move back in, don't move back in, move in now. Okay. Let those circles go off three times, keep moving, watch the boss, right of boss, right of boss. Right of boss. And stay, stay, stay. Saw that gap closer there, Turian. <laughs> Stack up. That's like perfect too. Substitution do so. Brutal impact. <laughs> yep, here comes fuses. Most likely combined with a lariat. Yep. <laughs> Center up, look for the side, right side. Let the fuses go off on the right side and move in. How did that hit me? Wow. Okay, and crossover. Right side of boss, right side of boss. I got Trilla. We're all good. Alright, here comes Brutal Impact. Tank share stack. Away from tanks. Tank share. Good job. 
Yeah, Swiftcast is still on cooldown. Thank you, Troa. Okay, here we go. Barrage. We're going to point ourselves to an opposite corner and a long fuse. There we go. And then move into where the short ones just went off. Stay behind boss, behind boss, behind boss. Yep, little tricky. I got Ronin. Stack up. Everybody in the stack. <clears throat> yeah, brutal impact. Nothing serious. Just some raid wides. We're holding on to the LB for a bit. Things can go south really quick here, so let's hold on to that. Tank share stack. I think he's losing some steam. That didn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> and I put an X cog on Qua. All right, rotating in and out, hokey pokey circle. Gonna be moving in. Now we're moving out. And we're moving back in. <laughs> and we're still moving because of red circles. And we're looking at the boss, and the boss says go to the right. Right of boss, right of boss, right of boss. Quick, 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 quick. Good job. Let's look at the boss. Where are we gonna go? We're gonna stay, we're gonna stay. Nice, nice, nice. Awesome possum. Alright. <laughs> Stacking up, good shields. Sweet. Now he's gonna give us a breather. Awesome. Okay. Still holding that LB for a little bit. Let's hang on. Gonna make sure we get nice and cozy with this HP, getting lower. Let's see, and fuses on the right, wait for him to go off. Move in. Move in, look at boss. Boss says, go to the right, right side of boss, right side of boss. Woo! <laughs> All right, brutal impact. A little recovery time. Perfect, okay. Let's uh, see what he does next here. Tank share stack, tank share stack. Okay, all right. And let's see what the next mechanic is. Okay, let's make sure we get through this barrage. That is probably gonna be followed with fuses. Yep, fuses, barrage, and then he's probably gonna do a lariat too. So I'll point towards your long fuses. Let the long fuses, or let the short ones go off, now move in. Oh, b murderous mist, get behind, get behind, get behind. Behind, behind, nope. behind. Okay, stack up and, and DPS LB3 when ready. And he should be dead, yep. Made it all the way to the end, and then died to one breath. <laughs> oh, it happens. <laughs> I'll, I'll take one of you out before I go. <laughs> yeah, I kicked your ass flat on mine. I mean, it, it's a doozy, but it's a fun one. Does that make it a draw, technically? <laughs> oh, that's a good point. <laughs> nah, I still have majority wins. <laughs> Alright, grats on loot. 
And let us know if you need a moment or want to go grab something. Yeah, I'm gonna need to unlock the next one now. Yeah, yeah, go for that and uh, let us know when you're good. It's pretty fast. I know that San Andreas sound effect. I heard you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, Sonic 3 looks awesome. Shadow is like totally one of my favorite characters. Mm. Yep. Did you know the uh, the guy who was like one of the first people to work on uh, Shadow in the Adventure Two uh, back when that came out? Um, he got to work on CGI for Shadow in the movie like twenty years later. It's awesome. There's a lot of little fun facts like that about the movie. They tried to um, include stuff, too, from Adventure 2, so that's pretty cool. Oh, it's one of my favorite games. That was a movie that Keanu, that, that Keanu was getting offered to play with, but they, he turned that down so he could play the voice over for Shadow. And yeah. <laughs> he doesn't sound it's bad sick. as Shadow, either. I think he sounds very much like a perfect, perfectly, perfectly new shadow voice. Yeah, compared to other voice actors, like if he heard. Yeah. Yeah, Shadow debuted in Adventure Two. All right, all good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and ready check. Yeah, it was a great game. I remember that game back in the day. Yeah. I got my GameCube copy right next to me right now. <laughs> GameCube. I had it on GameCube. Dreamcast, oh, yeah. baby. Oh, I like Dreamcast too. I was about to say you say you bear, and I say what's it? What's it? I GameCube? just I didn't have a GameCube at the oh, time. Oh, I know the GameCube. Oh, I know. Yeah, no, it wasn't exclusive. No, I had a GameCube for a good, for a good couple of years, and I liked certain games on the GameCube. I've got Sonic here. Heroes Rise got, uh, Up. I got one with the uh, Game Boy Player on it as well, so I can play GBA games on my TV. Or maybe even regular Game Boy as well. Yeah, games like uh, what Fire Emblem on GameCube is like 400 bucks or a copy. Man, I think I did have Fire Emblem on my GameCube too. I just want more people to play Radiata Stories. They sell the case without the disc for like. 200 bucks. <laughs> oh, Roddy Out of Stories. Now that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. <laughs> Not many people know that title. Yep, it's one of Trius's best games. <laughs> uh, did you know there's a town in Garibania in this game named after it? After Roddy Out of Stories? Yeah, I, the, I thought there was a quest. No, I did notice that area. I didn't quest. think it was named after it. There's a quest called Radiata Stories because there's a small settlement named Radiata. Radiata, Radiata, however you say it. <laughs> but yeah. They probably, stuck, they probably snuck it in there and say it reference, yeah. All the references in this game is insane. Are top notch. Yeah. The, the localization did a fantastic job. Either it's a quest or a fate or a, a certain place. That, place they the show map. their love. I mean, there's like a fate that is literally the fate is named after like a tech demo from 2010 from a press <laughs> conference. That only five people went to. That only like two people in the world remember. <laughs> of the five. Yep. <laughs> All right. Not uh, even the people hosting it remember it. They've stricken it from their minds. <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't put up a comment that he came. How many places places you can find that's not like a reference to anything in the game? Yep. They give right. him a prize. Uh, countdown when ready. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Ready Out of Stories definitely would do well. I think with a like a current uh, remaster or something. It would be glorious. Yeah, I really think so. It was actually pretty fun. I got that game for my 16th birthday. Alright, raid wide.
<clears throat> okay, right side Oop. of boss, so you're gonna see her do those little lightning cube moves. Always gonna want to be on the opposite side of wherever the cube points. So in a moment, she's gonna have some clones come out and do the same thing. Shadow Sabbath, that's where she summons clone. First one coming up on the right side of the arena. Pointing south, so north is safe. Get a north, north half of the arena. North half. She's gonna do it one more time. Okay, this time it's gonna be north again, north again. Stay north. And it does an entire half of the arena when she does it. Tank Buster. Tank Buster only targets one tank, but it's still a line, so be careful. Good job. And later she's going to summon like six clones at a time. It's pretty crazy. All right, here is what I call the super yeet cannon. It's whichever direction it points. We're going to run the opposite. Go right. East side is safe. East side. Everybody the east side. And here comes what we call the Simon Says mechanic. So I'm going to be calling out which direction the gun is firing. That means you're going to want to go to the opposite. I wish I'd known the area was about to fall away. I almost missed that. Front back. Yeah, but I was about to say, don't front, go back, back front. <laughs> front, back, front. Nice, nice. Yeah, we got all we gotta leave at the okay, very second. Again. Back. back is first. Back front. Back front front. Back front front back. So back, front, stay. Back. Nice. Very nice. Aoes. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you gotta leave by the second she fires, guys. Nice. Okay, this is a multi stack, so we'll stack up and stay in position. It's gonna hit multiple Change times. Out. Okay, and here comes her wings. What you're going to want to do is get in between these lines that you see on the wings. Right there. There's the lines. Just be in between them. She's going to rush through this through the arena. Later, she does that two times with a cross pattern. <clears throat> lines are starting to glow. Make sure you keep an eye on them. Get far away. Out of center. West is exploding. Be careful. And center, be out of center for the most part. Yep. Perfect. Nice. Stay, uh, stay east. Yep. East. Good job. Alright. Wrath of Zeus is an AoE. Uh, raid wide AoE. Okay, here's the multi-clones. I'm going to do my best to call this out. It happens very quickly. And then she does it herself at the end. So we're going to be right side first. So east, then north. Okay, and then west. Followed by south. Stay east, or west. Stay, stay west, stay west. Nice, good job. Whew. Having to move, heal, and think ahead. <laughs> right wide. Tank Buster, don't be near tank. Or within the line. Nice. Alright. Here comes Eat Cannon. We'll see which side is safe. And. Left side. We'll go west. Go west. And center up for Simon Says. Round two. This one's going to be a lot longer. About double the length of the first one. Okay, starting with the back. It's gonna be back front, back front back, back front back back, back front back back front. So back front back stay back or front. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, spread.
Careful, careful. Okay. Get some raises going. I got Coco. Multi stack. Thank you. Okay, Tro's got Kasman. This is going to be double wings, so she's going to have a clone with the wings as well. And that's the lines that go through the center. Oh, she's doing, uh, yeah, there it is. Okay. Yep. So make sure you look at both characters and be in between the lines on both. Okay, not bad. And the ground is going to start exploding. There's the lines glowing. Give those lots of room and then move. Yep, yep. Keep on moving, keep on moving. Get out of those. Keep on moving. Middle safe. Nice. Good job, guys. Okay, this is going to be an out, then an in. We're going to be out, and then we're going to run in. Okay, run in. Just be careful. It's a little tricky, because it's kind of all at once. <laughs> okay, uh, stack, and let me see if I can... I got Turian. It's so hard to not get hit by that, since it goes in a spiral kind of pattern. Okay, here's a raid wide. Heels and shields back up here. And watch out for a tank buster. Awesome. Everybody's doing good. Everything's smooth. Please hold the LB. Please hold on to that. Want to make sure we're nice and cozy at the end. Yep. Yeah, so okay, okay multi clones. Starting with west, followed by south. Followed by east, followed by north, followed by east. Ooh, a little tricky. Got Troa? Okay, raid point. Ooh! Tank Buster? Hard casting on Ronin. Raise in three seconds. Yeet cannon. Let's see which side is safe. Okay, left side safe, left side safe. Hard casting on Kazwin. Raise in three seconds. <laughs> I just saw my arrow like go down. Okay. <laughs> so starting with back, front. Back, front, back. Back front, back back. Back front, back back front. Back, front, back, stay. And go back again for the front. There we go. And no AoEs that time. Okay. I've got Kazwin. Multi stack. Please continue to hold the LB. Okay. Great recovery. Looking good. Here's wings again. Yep, Shadow Sabbath. So she's pulling out a clone with wings as well. This is going to be the double dodge. Make sure you position in between the lines of both characters. All right, middle's exploding. Get out of mid. So is south. Yeah. East is exploding. Be careful. North is exploding. Move south. And west is about to go off, as well as a little bit north. Cool beans. Okay, and she's not going to do her little in and out thing. Okay. Yeet Cannon. She's about to enter a mode where we stay on one side of the arena for the final, the finale. Hey, right side, right side. 
It's going to be a series of line stacks and AoEs. Yep, there, there she goes. Line stack. Perfect. Quaz got the passage. And if anybody wants to reprisal that, Johnny or Qua, for the next one. I can get the next one. Okay. Continue to hold the LB. I want to get through a couple of these. She's just going to keep doing this till the end. Okay, perfect. Nice. Okay, let's go, let it go off one more time. Okay, dodge. Reposition. Tanks in front. DPS. I'll be three when ready. Sweet. Nice. Let's finish her off. Good job, guys. And congrats on the clear. Woo! <laughs> All righty. Thank you guys for coming out tonight for raids. We are going to be doing a late night run here in about... Mm, an hour, just under an hour 40. If anybody wants to come back for round two, welcome to. And this is also week eight as well of raids, so don't forget if you've been collecting those hollow blades, take seven and some tomes to turn in for the raid weapon. Oh, and this is just my first. Oh, no worries. We're going to be doing this a while, so. These are and they're still locked to buy, to weekly, right? Yep. Yep. So if you, com yeah, you complete the fourth start round, of the you'll week. get one per week. Yep. Uh, I wish I had it unlocked yesterday. I'd be at two. Technically, yes. <laughs> it's the same thing I just did with Doma because I hadn't gotten that one all the way up. Oh yeah. Yep. That goes by before you know it. It does, especially once you're getting that benefit, uh, bonus benefit. Um, I just, pretty much, again, I just run Pagglethon. Like, and I get it, and I've got it down to a practice where I could do it solo under 10 minutes. Um, and that's a lot of conversion. In yeah. seals and in gill. Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming. Good reading with you, and thanks glad you got your clear. Yeah. See y'all next time. Yep. See y'all later. <laughs>